competition that is for Miz be behaving for show who chooses models slash talents do you or the clients choose the models what qualities determines who gets booked I just answered that question been a fan since forever this is Daniel Ade Minoko sorry if I'm butchering your name Daniel right now Corona God is the deciding factor but Corona is the, the is the devil that they have put in front of that decision. So it's in the hands of God, my brother. Okay, Fearless Mind Entertainment, and that's that's a dope name. How did you maintain your creativity in an African market for more than twenty years, my brother? Only God can answer that question. I don't know because it's it's ridiculous. I don't I don't know. This was not the plan. Your team, how did you gather them and keep them motivated to work with you till now? All right, I gathered my team in phases. The first team I ever put together was a combination of some people who knew about filmmaking and other people who didn't know anything about filmmaking but were dedicated to making something of their lives. As in truly dedicated because I could see them. It was not social media. I literally saw them and I saw that they were dedicated to whatever it is that they did, uh, whether it was cleaning, whether it was being electricians, they were truly dedicated to it. And that's pretty much how my team got picked. I also had a good producer at the time who helped me in picking this team. Shout out to Rosé and Biodun from Jungle. Right, they were part of my initial team. Um, as the industry grew, I started picking other team members. Now, uh, motivating them, a lot of people who would work with me would tell you that I killed their motivation at some point because I can be very um, stern about what I want and some people weren't used to that. Some people just didn't ever get used to the frequency of work, just how hard we had to work and stopped working here. Some people stopped working because the pay at the time wasn't good and they thought that they deserved to get paid better. So I haven't motivated, always motivated people that I work with. I tried to. My motivation isn't by being nice, even though I can be nice sometimes. Uh, but it is mostly by trying to create the environment for you to learn and from time to time trying to teach. But because of the circumstance of this industry, it's baptism of fire. You're learning while we're working and if you screw up, it affects the entire chain. So there are a lot of times when, well, you would get screamed at because you're messing up the entire production, not because I find you incompetent. All right, so next question from Fellas Mind Entertainment. Well, like I said, me being able to shoot doing films and TV right now is in the hands of God. But apart from from that, I consult for a lot of people and I run two other companies simultaneously with Capital Dreams Pictures. So yeah, I do other things. Please, based on your experience so far, what advice will you give to us, the new filmmakers, stylists, and so on concerning challenges, funding, and so on? This is a completely different topic on its own um, i'm taking the funding part of the funding or i don't know i don't have any advice in terms of funding because funding is borderline almost Im impossible these days um yes there are a lot of grants out there there are a lot of um people that say that they're offering funds but i haven't received any have i applied for Maybe not grants, but I've applied for other things and yeah, didn't work out. So I can't sit here and tell you or go to this place, apply for funding here and there. I can only say that it's the hustle, my brother, it's the hustle. Right? God is all we really have at the end of the day. What works for man A doesn't necessarily work for man B. Right? All the fingers are not equal. Be patient and be as focused as you possibly can focused and dedicated as you possibly can but most importantly love what you do um please what is the unique thing about the fifth question i'm not going to answer that because i don't even know how to go about answer, answering that i don't think there's anything unique about me i don't as a human being maybe but we work i strive for uniqueness i don't think i've attained it yet 